Hello everyone, welcome to The Sims 3 Current Household for the February update of the Humphrey family. I am here in the household of Damien, Rosalind and their daughter Annie. It is currently a Friday 2pm and we are finally having a brekkie. <laughs> we had a late night last night because we found out we were pregnant and Rosalind and Damien decided they wanted to tell the whole family so throughout the night we went to Rosalind's parents we went to Damien's parents which by the way they live far away which I'll get into that shortly um but we spent the night telling everyone that we're expecting another baby because we've only had the one and Annie's almost four now like she's almost our child she's almost six I don't know I'm just making up random ages but so this is quite exciting that they're having another baby um i didn't think i was gonna have them have more babies than one because i love this house and i love how small this family is it is a whole change of pace for me um but here we are with another baby and i think that would be it for them i think two is enough because they're both from like four plus children in a household um for this one i think we should just do two and that will be our limit um but yeah so she's enjoying her peanut butter and jelly sandwiches she looks so happy eating it look at her go but we moved from lucky palms into evansdale county which is a custom world from my sim reality which i will link down below if you are curious and you want to play in this world, it has absolutely everything you'll ever need. From like a whole rural area, like trailers, like it's kind of like a, I don't know, a shady area, I guess. Islands, um, where you can go scuba diving as well if you have Island Paradiso. Oh no, Island Paradise. Island Paradiso? No, that's the place. Isla Paradiso is the place, isn't it? Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, there's a bunch of restaurants and so many things for your sims to do. You never have a dull moment. You have the city over here with a university. If you have a mod, you can actually have your sims attend the university here instead of going to the world. And it just keeps going all the way back here. So this is Evansdale County, absolutely beautiful. I've always wanted to play in this world because there is so much to do. Like my similarity, he always makes the best houses, the best worlds, the best lots for your sims to go to. And he even brought in the iconic house from Sunset Valley. Um, you have like camping sites. You have like, look at this farmhouse back here. Like, I'm really invested. Like, look at this. It's huge. Like, let's open this up. Um, see what's inside. So, it's like a whole planting type thing. You can easily turn. Like, there's a whole stable, like, built-in stable house. With, oh, that's so cool. Like, you can make more bedrooms if you need to. It's just that he put in... He, my sim reality put in so much thought for this place um for this world and it shows like all the details and everything it's just amazing anyway um rosalind's parents live here in this house i was tempted to put them in this house because it is giant um see look at that like i would pay a good sum of money to live in a house like this just saying which by the way let's like look inside shall we <laughs> look at this whoa maybe i should have my generation why is there a i think that's a glitch why is that there um i think i should have my generation family live here because it looks so lovely look at all the rooms and the space I honestly could put my generation family here. I could just put basement for even more room. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, her parents live over here. At the end of this street in this beautiful house. So her family is Evan. 
Evan Slater and June Slater and their children Sage, James and Elliot. That's them. And then Damien's family lives all the way in the city. Here in their iconic house that took me so long to build. So of course I had to bring the house with them. Because I love this house so so much. Um, let me just give you, remind you of what it looks like in the inside. I did do a few changes. Um, so this is it. Still looking fabulous as ever. Um, oh! Oh, I brought over, okay. I forgot to save the, what's it called? The, um updated house because this was actually renovated to suit a nursery which we'll get into that shortly but i guess this will do and i'll just say dylan's sleeping here damien um what's his brother's name lachlan is sleeping in damien's old room okay sure <laughs> i guess it works but i will show you the family tree because i'm always it's growing every single time i do an update so we james unfortunately passed away he was brought with this save so but he passed away he's gone <laughs> oh dittums then we have aurora she is married to luke the children damien lachlan Ar adelaide ooh, and dylan i think if dylan a makeover he just aged up into a teenager poor dylan he gets forgotten okay it was like wasn't that a one night stand or something? Like, yeah, he's... I kind of regret doing that, but what are you going to do? We have Dylan, alright? He's, he's fine. Um, <laughs> so, Damien is married to Rosalind. They have their daughter, Annie. And also, another one is on the way. We have Lachlan. He is married to Thomas Humphrey. Um, Thomas is in the painting career. They're both, like, really into love. Um, love. <laughs> wow both into art um just like music and literally they have the same perks so that's why they get along so well they even adopted no they went to the hospital to do the customize your own child create your own child thing and <laughs> they got their daughter autumn Humphrey she's artistic and good of course she's artistic like look at her entire family Aurora is artistic her dad dads are both artistic like it just runs in the family then Adelaide she's now a young adult she is in the journalism career because she loves to write um she was always writing it she was just like she's very perceptive artistic once again she loves the environment she's just all around an awesome person <laughs> and she looks fabulous aged up like oh my god and dylan i look at these perks like come on um <laughs> it kind of just gets forgotten it's fine um but rosalind's family so we have sage she's in a music career james is still in high school and elliot um has grown up to a young adult and he's in the cooking career which by the way i'm not gonna lie elliot <laughs> he is a fine he is fine um you may see some familiar faces like alexander sterling and pretty sure to, yeah lacy kerr they're not married yet so this is like before generations okay <laughs> but yeah so they're in this world as well they are still got the same careers of business and the law enforcement but because we moved to a different town um we haven't met anyone else like we are still new in this town why is it really it gets dirty it turns brown okay oh my god girly don't choke do not choke oh, also i didn't realize i'm really like recording without sound okay <laughs> and he's over here being adorable she ages up shortly in three days actually her perks are perks we're playing too much of DVD. Her traits are genius and friendly. She still likes the color orange, tofu, cheese steak, western music, and she's a Virgo. Um, let's clean up a bit. Look at her belly. 
I love this dress on her. Like, she's still early on in the pregnancy, but that baby will be popping out anytime now. And I'm so excited for it. I even built a spare room for the baby. It's actually bigger than Annie's room, so I might have them swap. <laughs> but um, I kept the little backyard because I don't know why I love this fenced in backyard. The house still has its cuteness appeal to it so which i love let's actually change annie's diaper and then give her a big huggy wuggy and then we also got a tesla <laughs> i got damien a tesla because if you don't know i so desperately want a tesla so <clears throat> mr beast if you are listening um you know, just, just putting it out there. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but not really. Um, and also got Rosalind a hybrid. So, you know, they're kind of being eco-friendly here. You know, you know, you kind of get the gist. Um, he is exhausted. Oh, my God. Can you pay the bills at least? Please, before you pass out. Please, before you pass out. And then, can you call up the newspaper people and tell them to stop giving us newspapers it is the most infuriating thing ever um it is a 4 p.m i did want them to go out to a park like just spend some time together mother daughter which i might still do like they're f well they're fine i have no idea if you heard that or not but that sounded like a whole bunch of metal clashing together um, I'm not sure if you heard it, but if you did, I do apologize. Um, where's the nearest- Oh my god! <laughs> wow, okay. Um, where's the nearest park? Okay, I keep getting- There's a cat park. There's a pools. Where's the park park? This is the nearest city view park. I have to go all the way here go to a park why don't actually not gonna lie it's a really nice park oh my god there's a fairy house if you have supernatural okay oh you can have a party here all right okay look oh my god no way no way are you kidding imagine getting married there oh. why are my sims already married get married again <laughs> in this destination look at that you telling me that's not i'm taking a screenshot of that no reason why but just like just you know and i'm pretty sure there's one on the city side isn't it um or am i just thinking of a different world i think i'm thinking of a different world yeah but there's this club okay sorry i haven't fully you know explored this place yet whoa look at this club Oh my god, can any age up to become um, a young adult, please? So we can go out clubbing. I could take Rosalind and Damien, but I've, they're just too old. You know, like, come on. They're in the, like, okay, they're not that old. But <laughs> they're parents now. I don't really think um, they have the interest in clubbing anymore. Like, they prefer to stay at home. Like, they're getting to that stage. Let's go on a stroll with any, because Damien just wants to sleep. He's utterly exhausted, so we don't want to wake him up. Just go, just go sleep. Like, go sleep. We're gonna go on a stroll. Look at them. Okay, I'm like way too attached to this family. Way too attached. Look at them. Oh, okay, any looks so bored. She's like, ugh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no look at her oh she's supermodels look at them okay anyway <laughs> <laughs> all right cancel newspaper thanks <laughs> i love this i love this <laughs> um aspect of generations like okay so i heard that like, generations-esque pack is coming in the sims 4 like growing together or growing up growing something i don't know i really didn't even pay attention 
to the trailer when I watched it, but not gonna lie, it does look pretty cool. But you know, she could never be generations. <laughs> she could never be generations, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, until I see like, like you have all those playlists out there, like not even just mine, you have like Life Simmer, you have th that sweet simmer when she was that sweet simmer. Um, they do all the iconic simmers in the entire world for the Sims 3 generations. Um, and maybe it can be better and even out like outsell generations, but I don't, I don't know. That's just me. I do love the Sims 3, so who knows? Who knows? Anyway. These two are just enjoying a nice afternoon stroll. Also, how far are we going on this stroll? May I just ask? Like, are we strolling back home? We're still going? Okay, we're coming back? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a bit, um like where are they going <laughs> but they're coming back now okay i'm glad i'm glad also i've tried like going through master controller and everything to get sims to move into this world but for some reason no one is this why if i did default do you think people move in faster because i have um immigration gorge where is it Immigration got 1,000. Like, <laughs> I want people to move in. Um, hopefully now, maybe. Because I had it on snail. So hopefully now more people move in. I'm not sure how it works, actually. Not at all. But, anyway. They're going to finish their stroll. I swear, every time I want to record, 10 million trucks go past. Okay, like every single second, there's a roaring engine of a truck. Anyway, who is calling us? Who is calling us at this ungodly hour? It's not really, it's like 7.30. <gasps> it's our mother. Why is, why is our mother calling? Why is our mother calling? Oh my god, I can't see. Yes, yes, we will talk to our mother. Oh my god, always. Always. <laughs> The weather. Why are we talking about the weather? How about these current events? These are going on. You follow the sports team. Small talk might not be great. Heal for the my but does help break the ice. Do you like it? My mother is just small talking us about the weather and sport. And then speeches? What is happening? Okay, well. <laughs> are they nearly home? Oh, they're glitching. Um, well, they will be home eventually, and when they do, I'm going to send everyone to bed, so I'll just pick up in the morning. Okay, sorry, I'm back. They're not asleep, but I thought because Annie was hungry, they'll just eat, and Damien went up to Rosalind, gave her a big smooch just out of nowhere, which I just love, but I just got to show, I love these animations. Like, look at that. Like, I know this is, like... In The Sims 4, so like it's not that impressive. Look how big her belly is. His hand's going in her. Look at this! I love it. He's so excited to become like have another kid. Nikki T! That's so cute. That's so cute. Um. Alright, so we're gonna send you straight to bed because you are pregnant, you are tired. You can go to bed. We're gonna put any into a crib. How is she? Yeah. She's actually got great energy. Like, her moods are all the way up. Which, oh, by the way, we can tuck in our kids. Like, hold on, how do we do this? check on any i have a mod in you can check on any or tuck on let me just make it tired oh i don't have my teeth oh. one moment her sleep schedule everyone in this household actually their sleep schedules are all over the joint let me just make it tired okay tuck in 
Elias Slider and Adelaide Humphrey have been hitting it off. Our, wait, <laughs> our sister is dating our wife's brother? Is that allowed? I don't know. <laughs> I guess, I mean, we're not blood related. We're related by marriage, I guess, but like, I don't know, that's weird. Okay, but anyway, <sighs> good night. Good morning, everyone. So, Miss Rosalind is the first one awake, and her baby bump is so oh. big. Oh. Also, this fit she has on. Oh, you really did just cut in front of a pregnant lady. What is wrong with you? You're so lucky, Damien. What are you doing? Are you lucky your Rosalind has patience? Honestly. Anyway, she's gonna have some peanut butter and it's peanut butter yeah. and jelly sandwiches. Um, and then I'm gonna have her actually head to the grocery store and the bookstore because I want to get a rubber ducky <laughs> and um, a rubber ducky and the bath bubbles so she can have bubble baths. Um, also, maybe we'll go back out later to get a massage, but for now, we're just going to do that. Oh my god, let me see her belly. Let me see. Oh my god, look at her. She's going to have the baby soon, and I'm so excited. I really hope it's a boy. I hope it's a boy. I want one girl and one boy. Um, I'm fine with whatever, but I'm really hopeful a boy. I really, really do. Okay, here we go. I'm missing some type of store content here, as you can tell. But that's okay. <laughs> Let's actually get... So, duck. Candle. Candle. Um, wow. Bubble bath. Um, that should be all. Should we get anything for dinner? <gasps> A roast chicken. Wow. Um, peaches. Oh, I didn't even realize I have all this fruit. I should really get the mod where you have to like download, actually go shopping. Like you can't cook anything out of the fridge. I really should get that, but what she gonna do? Um, nah, that should be fine. 205, my god. That seems so realistic too. <laughs> that seems so realistic as well. Like it's not even a joke. Just to get three things, $200. Oh my god. Um, let's get a book. Where is the pregnancy book? It's bad that I know what it looks like. Like, I don't even have to read it. I just know it looks like that. It's so... How to win a video game without really trying. $200 as well. This is so realistic. It's scary. Alright, actually, let's read... Hmm... Should we go to the park? Oh my god. Rosalind, you're living my life. You really are. We're going to go to the park. <laughs> and we're going to read. Okay. And then we're going to go home and have a bubble bath in the middle of the day. Ugh. Girlie, you're living my dream. Is there a place to sit? Um. Like, there's a wedding place. But, like. <laughs> really? There's not even, like benches for just sitting and chilling okay well i'm gonna put one down because you can't stop me let's just put this yeah, like that will do sure and then we should put okay or not or not okay look you know what but that looks so weird maybe i should put that one, and then I should put a twin one on the other side. But like a bit far apart, so it's like not obvious. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, they still look so out of place, but it's fine. Sit. Okay, I forgot she was pregnant, so I'm like speeding along. And I'm like, where is she? Right, I forgot. Oh my god. Girlie, you are living my dream. Like, how badly I would, like, if I had time in my day to just sit outside at a 
pretty view and read girly oh anyway she's gonna be doing that damien is on baby watch or where's bella watch either one but you actually need to feed your daughter so why don't you take her with the claw change her diaper we might actually go to a cafe Oh my god, I never do this with my sims, you know. I'm just like, stay at home, don't communicate with anyone. <laughs> Maybe I'll go visit grandma today. Okay, why am I... See, I get so invested with my sims. She does need a toilet though. We can have Bracky there. Okay, I'm like that idea. We're gonna go have Bracky. Or oh, should we eat now? We'll eat now. Yeah, we'll eat now. And then we'll go visit grandma. Just message her saying, are you home? Hopefully she'll be home. We're coming over. While we're doing that, we'll put away the toys. This is so realistic. Um, basically, I'm just waiting for Rosalind to get back. <laughs> um, you do need a toilet, so when you're done, can you use the potty chair? I could use a proper potty chair. Can you make the bed? Come on, girlie. And let's make ah! no! <laughs> what already already oh my god oh my god Rosalind. oh she's gone into labor oh her face oh i couldn't imagine see this is where we stop wishing I was you okay because like oh I can never I'm gonna <laughs> oh that's a thumbnail right there thumbnail right there okay well can we we can't bring any with us can we okay let's just hold on pick up any quick 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 you're going to the hospital hi oh, baby a hospital you're gonna come too, right? You're gonna come to the hospital too, right? Why is the hospital so far away? Where is it? Bro, she's gonna give birth on the way to the hospital. Are you kidding? Go here. She's gonna give birth on the way to the hospital. That's so far. She's driving herself. I don't know how that's safe. Honestly, I don't know how driving herself to the hospital while in labor it's safe. <laughs> I don't, you get a contraction or something. Like either you're hitting the acceleration or you're slamming that brake. Something's giving and you know, it's not going to be good. Anyway, we're here. Oh, there's a hot food truck. Look at that. Damien's here. Oh, okay. We're just dumping her. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. <gasps> it's a boy! It's a boy! Okay, so we got Damien, Rosalind, Annie, and. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I decided to go with the name Daniel because he was the reason for this entire family. Um, and he's someone that, like, naming him. Naming our newborn baby Daniel Chodja Jr. or just Daniel? Ah, just Daniel. Um, like when we tell Aurora, she's gonna cry her eyes out. Like she's gonna be so proud of her son. Like I think I don't think Damien. Oh no, Damien did meet Daniel. Like when he was super super young, like a toddler, if you remember that far. Um. <laughs> When he was a toddler, he met Daniel. So, I think Damien, Lachlan, maybe Adelaide. No, I think he. No, I think he passed away before Adelaide. But Damien definitely met Daniel and remembers. So yeah, we're naming him Daniel. Oh, I'm in love. What the hell? What the fudge is this? Wait, what is this? I've never... Do I have mods in? What is this? What the... Why? 
Why? What? Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm not sure why I have those, but let's just put, um, I don't know. We'll probably randomize. No. Sure. You know what? That runs in the family. It's not very funny. Um, oh, loves the outdoors and clumsy. Daniel did love the outdoors. Like he was fishing, you know, every day. Okay. We're putting that clumsy. You know what? Same. It runs in the family. Daniel. Daniel Humphrey, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, look at him. Loves the outdoors, he likes the color violet, stir fry, and Chinese music, and he's a Pisces. Oh my god. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Daniel. Right, can you pick up any? We'll all go home together. Look at him. He's so cute. Okay. I love that. I'm going to cry. Um. <laughs> Can we, um, can I just put this in the inventory? Because I'm a bit scared we're going to lose the car. It's actual fear of mine. Um, where are you going? Was that necessary? We w we're basically at Aurora's house. Can we just say that? Like, that's how edge of the earth we are. My god. All right. <laughs> But there we go, a new addition to the Humphrey household, little Daniel, I'm gonna cry. Oh, like that feels like ages ago when we had Daniel and he just lost his wife, um, what was her name, Juliet, um, he moved in with Holly and he had a baby named Ava, oh that seems like ages ago oh my god we're like in the fifth generation um because like oh wrong family um because okay aurora's parents was ava ava daniel so daniel a I, I, that's a show because they moved around a lot but daniel ava aurora damien daniel like that's one two three four Five, right? Five generations of Humphrey household? Oh my god. That's insane. That's actually... Oh, okay. Well, can you pick it back up? Uh, that is actually insane. Um, okay, well, I am going to actually end this update video here because oh it's gone on for quite a while and I'm in love I love this family so much like it's actually insane I'm so into this family like I'm up to the fifth generation of this family and I'm not bored I'm not like close to finishing I just want to play this family forever and ever till my PC gives out, basically. Um, but yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, anything you like me see, know or do. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, because if you subscribe, it will help me out so, so much. And it will also give you reminders when I upload the next current household of this family. If you enjoy this family, um, hit the bell to be notified when I do another update video but yeah <laughs> I will see you all next month for the next update goodbye